Joining me now is Gwen Preston, VP of Investor Relations for West Red Lake Gold Mines. Great to finally meet you. Thank you. Yes, lovely to meet you as well and to be here. I see your face all over the internet when I'm doing my research. And I, here you are in this new role, and we want to know more about uh, uh, you've got a pre-feasibility study coming for Madsen, and then uh, you've got uh, expected production next year. Very exciting stuff, obviously, for the company. So can you give us a brief snapshot? Absolutely. We are at a really exciting juncture right now. I mean, we've owned this Madsen project for almost a year and a half, uh, really you know, active on the ground for a year. It takes a couple months to, to get going. Um, in that year, we've done 45,000 meters of definition drilling. That's, I start with that because it's really fundamental, right? This mine failed. I like to address the elephant in the room off the bat. This mine failed two years ago exactly, October of 2022, under that prior operator. Real, the crux of the issue, there were several, but the biggest issue in that failure was insufficient definition drilling. This is Red Lake. It's narrow veins. It's high-grade gold in pods. You have to hammer that resource with drilling. So we're tightening the drill spacing from 20 meters to 6 meters before we design stopes on anything. We want to know exactly where the gold is and we think that a six meter spacing is what we need to do that. So 45,000 meters of definition drilling and then that leads into all the proactive mine planning, building our stope book so we have 18 months of mineable inventory visible ahead of us ready to go. Lots of capital projects to underpin an efficient operation. When the prior operator, I say, had several challenges, one of them was a lack of capital during the build which meant that they didn't do some of the projects that would have helped make the mine more efficient. One of those is a connection drift. There's two sides to this underground mine that aren't connected. The one portal is a way more efficient portal. It's right beside the mill, it's bigger, it's smoother, but they couldn't use that. So we're connecting those with a 1.2 kilometer tunnel underground. We're installing a permanent primary crusher, we're building a camp on site, we're building a maintenance shop, we're doing a tailings dam lift. These are all the things that you get them done now so that during operations, you're set up and ready to go. And underground, we're doing a test mining program, which is also really a de-risking step, right? There's lots of, there's a range of environments underground at Madsen. This is a historic operation, you know, in fresh rock, mineralization that's right up against a void stope, up against a backfilled stope, up against a cemented stope. We're test mining in those environments so that we figure out now exactly how to mine efficiently and safely in those environments and potentially can unlock some resources that were excluded from the resource because there hadn't been test mining, so the engineers didn't know if it could be done. And then we'll, we're bulk sampling in those areas, that's what the test mining is, and then we can do reconciliation calculations, which is important for us to be sure that all of our work is leading to an accurate resource model. So, so much going on, and this is all feeding into a pre-feasibility study that will be out shortly, but that's really our mine plan. We're not doing a feasibility study this thing has accurate costs, real costs. We've been operating underground for a year already. The mill operated only two years ago. There's no questions about how this thing is going to be built because it's already built. So it's, it's large, it's a mine plan that we are going to operate on. That will be out in a few weeks. And in the next few weeks, we are doing our best to access the last piece of capital that we need to carry us all the way through to comfortable production, assuming all of these ducks line up as we expect. Um, and like you say, that's sort of later in the second half of next year. So it's busy times, but I think it's, it's really exciting. Wow, so much going on. So uh, drilling results at Madsen, north and south zones, uh, very high grade. Can you give us some of the highlights uh, in terms of uh, in the, those? Absolutely. So the, the definition drill program, that whole mineral resource, 1.7 million ounces indicated at 7.4 grams, all of it has that roughly 20 meter spacing. So every single part of that resource before mining, we need to definition drill and tighten up that drill spacing. We decided the order of where to drill based on grade and tonnage, because of course you need to make sure that you're accessing good ore early in the operation. So the areas that we've been drilling um, offer nice tonnage potential, nice grade potential, and often expansion potential. There's lots of intercepts close to the resource that aren't incorporated into the resource because they're just a little bit too far away. So we've been able to really accurately delineate the resource and extend some zones with that infill drilling. And yeah, we've been reminding people 
why the market got so excited a couple years ago about a revival of the Madsen mine. This is Red Lake. There's really high grade gold. These rocks are beautiful. There's really high grade gold and there's potential to discover new zones. That's something else that we've been working on. So yeah, the drill results have been very exciting for us internally, for sure. Right. Speaking of new zones, uh, you're really focusing as well on this confederation package of rocks, which makes up half the property, correct? Yeah. And so what's the potential there? So Great Bear, that fantastic project, is only about 80 kilometers away. And Great Bear is a one, Dixie or Great Bear, whichever name you want to give to that project. Great, great discovery for two reasons, scale and grade on its own, but also because that project exists in the Confederation Rocks. In the Red Lake District, there's the Confederation Rock Package and then there's the Balmer Assemblage. Historically, the assumption has been that the gold exists in the Balmer. And so, you know, the Red Lake Mine, Koshner, Campbell, those mines that created Gold Corp, those have all been in the Balmer. On our Madsen project, really, the structure that holds our defined resource is coincident with where those two rock packages butt up against each other, that unconformity. And there's been very little exploration on the confederation side. So we, we've done a lot of soil sampling, we've done a lot of integration of geophysics. We, actually, we absolutely have targets now on the confederation side. And really interestingly, back in the 30s, the very first short shaft that was driven at the Madsen project tapped his own in the Confederation rocks. Then they moved slightly south and everything else happened in the Balmer. So there is gold in the Confederation. So that's definitely something to test as we move forward. Now, West Red Lake uh, was picked up out of creditor protection, or at least the company picked up the properties out of creditor protection. 6.5 million, it's often been said, this could be the deal of the decade. So against this bullish gold backdrop, can you sort of sum up as you, as you head towards production? Absolutely, so I mean, West Red Lake, came to be when our president and CEO, Shane Williams, who's built mines all over the world, 25 year career as a mining engineer, leading mines for El Dorado in Greece, in Turkey, in Quebec, previously with Rio Tinto and the Landin Group, he's a mine builder. Um, and so he got to know Frank Justra. And Frank, one of Frank's key things is timing. He's very good at seeing gold markets coming. So that was two and a half or three years ago, they partnered up and said, look, we think that there's a gold market coming, what are we gonna do? The, they understand that the best way to provide leverage for investors to gold in a rising market is through aggressive production growth. So that was the foundational concept of West Red Lake. And if you want to grow quickly, you've got to find assets that you can put into production quickly. So Madsen is a perfect foundational asset for that. We all know how rare it is to be able to put assets into production quickly. This thing, of course, came mostly built with the permits. Absolutely perfect. Um, and we could apply Shane and the group that he built, that deep expertise in mining, which is unfortunately rare to have a group with that much mining expertise, you know, it was a great fit for that as well. So Madsen's absolutely the foundational asset. We want to get this thing running next year. It will be a good small mine. It should make good money. We will see those numbers in the pre-feasibility study that's coming out soon. And then we want to grow from there. I mean, we say internally that we, we are pushing to be a 500,000 ounce per year producer in five to seven years. So that's gonna take acquisition, but the team that we have, the connections that we have, the deal-making history that we have, that's a reality that, you know, we'll see what those deals end up, end up being, but we're already pursuing them. All right, very exciting, great pedigree at the company, obviously, and uh, we're looking forward to, to what comes down the road. Thanks, Gwen. Thank you so much for having me. Okay, good stuff. Gwen Preston, she is a VP of Investor Relations at West Red Lake Gold Mines.